All right, hey guys. Um, so today I just wanted to do a bit of a, just a short video on really why, or one of, a couple of the big reasons why I wanted to put on this charity event uh, for motor neuron disease. So here we've got uh, Soph, most of you know Soph, aka world champion rower right now. <laughs> and uh, Zane over here. You probably don't know Zane unless you train at 4.30am. Um, Even then you may not know me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I've known Zane since, uh, since I was about five years old or something like that. Um, so that's a lot of years now. Um, and so, uh, not nearly as long, but um, yeah, I do consider her a good friend. And these guys uh, both have, I guess, personal experiences um, with motor neuron disease in, in their own ways. So I just wanted to, I guess, uh, bring them on uh, just to make this more real almost uh, for you guys because first of all, motor neuron disease is, a lot of people don't even know what it is um, because it's not as prevalent as something like cancer. Um, not, you know, not disregarding what cancer is or anything like that, but just to bring it more to the forefront of our minds because that's really what I want this to be about um, because motor neuron disease is really really crippling um, in terms of taking away someone's uh, movement and their, and their mobility and I want this Saturday to be like a celebration of, of what we're able to do with our, with our own bodies um, but also giving that context against you know, what can happen with motor neuron disease and that's what we're trying to raise money for. So, uh, I'll start off with uh, Soph, because she's next to me. Um, Soph, if you don't mind just sharing, you know, any as small or as much insight into how motor neuron disease has affected you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my sister was diagnosed with motor neuron disease probably eight years ago. Um, she was awesome she was a little bit older than me and she was super fit uh, international athlete when she was younger and yeah she managed about 18 months on it and it was just complete heartbreak to watch her go from being so able-bodied she was the life and soul of the party just to to just lying in, in a bed not being able to move and just yeah, I was with her when she passed away and just sort of holding her hand as, as she took her last breath. And it was, it's horrible. It's a horrible illness. And it was a difficult time of my life. My dad had cancer, I'd broken my pelvis and we were all <laughs> like, it was a lot to handle. But me and my dad were just like, you know, we were just, we just wanted to trade places with her because yeah, it, the suffering is huge. And I'm really stoked that we are doing something about it um, on Saturday and really hope to see heaps of you there um, and for a little barbecue afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Zane? Um, yeah, similar story I guess. Motor neuron disease, Dad was diagnosed very recently, about two months ago. Um, huge shock to, to us. Um, he's still with us for who knows how long, but um, we'll make as much um, as many memories as we can between now and, and when that day comes. Um, it's just the scariest thing I've ever seen. Uh, death is certain for everyone, but just for it to actually be there right in front of your face and, to, and for someone so close, it's just it's absolutely heartbreaking. But um, yeah, just almost brought me to tears when Luke said he was going to do this day, and it's just a really big. Yeah, really big thank you to Luke and I just really hope to see everyone there as well. It's going to be excellent and I don't think I need to encourage you any, any more but for every dollar that we raise I'm going to match so I'm not sure if Luke's going to need to do those calories but we'll oh, yeah. see what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, really look, just looking forward to seeing everyone there on, on Saturday. Yeah, so guys, that's, um, you know, just, yeah, obviously two people that, that you guys know well but um, yeah, like, there's, uh, yeah, and I don't really know what else to say. The, the charity that, that I've chosen to support is a, is a charity that, um, 
was actually started by a guy called Scott Sullivan and um, he actually used to come to the gym that I used to work and I used to train him um, sometimes from his wheelchair um, as he had motor neuron disease and he started this charity uh, on his journey of you know I guess the, the physical decline um, and that charity is still going today so I, I thought uh, when I was looking for charities I, I, I thought that was a really nice match because I have some uh, resonance with it um, so just come along this Sunday guys, um, put in your all, you know, I guess a couple of things that, that you can do is, is bring your spirit, um, bring, bring your best in terms of celebrating your movement, um, donate on that GoFundMe page as much as you can, um, and, and yeah, just, just be there in spirit because, you know, any bit of fundraising, you know, it's obviously only a small blimp in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but it does help because, like I said, there's not a lot of charities and a whole heap of um, people putting money towards this because it isn't as prevalent as something like cancer. So just give what you can, guys, and um, yeah, really look forward to us all coming together on Saturday and um, you know supporting supporting Soap and Zane for what they have and what they are go you know will always go through um, because of this, but then everyone else as well that. Um, it's still to, well, hopefully not experience this, um, but just for yeah, any help that we can give. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hopefully see you soon.